Let's bring you this discussion now. KwaZulu-Natal's municipalities are facing a dire financial and infrastructural crisis, with only four out of 54 municipalities receiving clean audits and wasteful expenditure exceeding 7.4 billion rand. To address this, the Inkanyayezwe Management Consultants is set to host the Municipal Strategy Conference in Umshanga, that is in KwaZulu-Natal. The company's Eric Sitole, he's the CEO, in fact, joins us now live via our video link for a sense of what this gathering will entail. Eric, thank you for your time and patience. Welcome to the SABC News uh, channel. Let me just begin by ascertaining from you how you reckon we got here, because I think that's an important discussion if we're going to find these solutions. Having a situation where most municipalities aren't even able to provide clean ordinance is not a gradual process, but happens over some time. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Nyat. I think um, let me firstly explain that it's a strategy conference that we are organizing and it came as a result, for instance, when you look at the objectives of a municipality, um, they have to provide services to communities in a sustainable manner. And if you can go to any ward, Mr. Nyat, in South Africa, you'll find that people have lost trust um, in government, not only local government, but national and provincial because of the service deliver and there are for instance there are of legislation that we are currently utilizing to prepare for the strategic plan of a municipality um, but over the past five years or in the decade um, we are hard even uh, getting to where we achieve even 45 percent of the goals that are in those um, particular plans hence why uh, with that maybe we need to look out of the box and, and find other solutions that will assist us. Sure that municipalities are, are advanced when it comes to strategic planning process. The issue of uh, with uh, achieving clean audit is one of our concerns, but let me explain on that. If you look at the processes um, that municipalities embark on uh, so that they can comply, uh, those processes um, are very tough and most of the cases in as much as uh, those processes must be followed you have a situation where i think in the previous years a number of government departments achieving it, but only to find that there is a lack of and it was correct we want to by coming to solution that will ensure that while we are achieving clean audit we are not lacking when it comes to service delivery yeah I must apologize to our viewers, Eric, we don't have the best audio connection to you. I'm hoping it'll stabilize as we continue with our discussion. Um, but, you know, I, I really want to, I don't want to harp on this, but I think it's an important question to really get clarity on. Your, your own diagnosis around what led to the financial crisis before we start speaking about what the solutions might look like as they emerge from this conference. It's, 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 it's a lack of planning. Um, if, if you don't do planning properly, then you have challenges, mm. but also the capacity issues. Um, if, if, for instance, every five years, um, there's a new council that is appointed, um, elected by people, and that council must always develop what you call the ITP process. Um, in that ITP process, they must have an, a financial plan which simply says, how are we going to find the needs of the communities? But now you have an issue with that because you have people who cannot implement that particular financial outcome a source funding. So some of the issues come from that. And But also you have issues of South African economy that has affected us negatively. Hence why we have Professor Andrew Roof from Student Board talking about that. How has the global economy in South Africa been affecting municipalities? Recently, we've seen from 2012, I think 2012, 2018, the introduction of budget cuts, cost-cutting measures, the impact of those measures when it comes to the budget. So those are, I mean, I mean and, and a number of issues that are affecting municipalities, and that has led them toward the situation that they're currently facing. Yeah. It's going to be an economic question, and I imagine also a political question that needs to be answered ultimately on the other side of this conference, uh, which brings me to asking the question around who you hope will be present. With uh, Prof. Andrew, um, as I said from Senate, we'll be just looking at uh, the issues of economics. And um, if you, again, in a decade, we've been running our country on a deficit, which means our expenditure is always higher than the revenue that you have as a country. 
and what is impact on and besides that uh, you have issue of uh, foreign policy hence why we've brought professor spamanda zondi to talk about prof i mean um, foreign policy what can we do to capitalize because as i said we need to look beyond um, what we have in South Africa, beyond the legislation that we have. Maybe we can capitalize in terms of borrowing money, in terms of partnership with other African countries and Asian countries in order to ensure that the service delivery for municipalities uh, is sustainable and is consistent. We were also looking at the role of traditional leaders when it comes to strategic planning. What is the role of traditional leaders in strategic planning? Because we have seen that some of, in most cases, they are neglected. What do you want to talk development. Is it a talk development in a land that is owned by municipality, privately owned, or in a land that is owned by chiefs? So what would be, what is the role of those traditional leaders when it comes to the planning of a municipality? But not only that, we'll also talk about the strategy principle. As I said, the issues, Mr. Nia, that we are facing are coming from the planning perspective. If we don't plan right, we're going to have challenges. So we're right. going to be talking about the strategy principles. First things first, what needs to what what do we need to do when we're talking about the planning of a municipality? Strategic techniques, what can we do to assist municipalities that are in rural area to ensure that their strategic plans are and they are able to implement the, the the strategy that they have adopted on yearly basis? All right. Certainly hope that there are going to be solutions on the other side of that particular conference and solutions that work. Eric Sotole, let me thank you for your time, at least for now. Um, Eric is the CEO of Nziga Years. We're managing consultants. They are likely to lead a strategy conference, is what he calls it, to try to get to the bottom of many issues that are plaguing municipalities, specifically in KwaZulu-Natal.